Hey everybody, this is Russ Miller and I want to welcome you to the Commandments of R&B Drumming video series. We're going to take this three volume series and look at R&B music and R&B drumming from a historical standpoint, from an instructional standpoint on the drums themselves, and also talk about some of the attributes and aspects of just R&B music in general. I want to introduce you guys to a real freak about this genre of music. His name's Zorro and he's one of the most respected drummers in R&B. Had the pleasure of working with some great artists in the 80s and 90s like The New Edition, Bobby Brown, Jody Watley, Lenny Kravitz, all the way up through legends of music like Frankie Valli. I've been living this music most of my life. I grew up in an area in South Central Los Angeles where I grew up listening to R&B music. So I've listened to it all my life and I've played it professionally for the last 20 years. I get excited when I think about it. The number one most important thing to understand about R&B is that it's all about the heart. And all my favorite drummers and artists are all about heart, feel, and emotion. Everything else would be secondary to that. It's got to have passion. By the time the funk era came around in the later 60s, the drums became uh, louder in the mix. The, some of the drummers played even louder. And many of the tunes, you could have a complete hit tune based around the drum beat itself. As we saw with soul music, the drums were at a certain volume. Then in funk, it got louder. Then in hip hop, it got louder even more. And like in funk, when the beats, some of the songs were revolved around the beats, in hip hop, the whole song might be a beat. Thank you very much.